So today's video is going to be about digital products. Now, I have a video about eBooks that you guys seem to really be liking and you have a little bit more questions. So I thought I would make this as a follow up to dive a little bit deeper because we really need to talk about how digital products can be a game changer for your business. Now, just about a year and a half ago, I created my first digital product. That made me a couple of thousand dollars in a weekend. And to say that I was surprised is an understatement because I actually had no idea. I made this product out of requests from my audience and they really, really supported the product and it did really, really well. Now, about six months later, I created a new digital product and I had a similar outcome with that product as well. And that's when I really realized the power of digital products and how amazing they can be to the bottom line. So today, I want to break down the process of starting your digital product from idea all the way to the sale of that product. Because I honestly believe that this is one of the easiest ways for beginner bloggers and content creators to monetize their platform. Now, what is a digital product? A digital product is something that doesn't have a physical form, also called information products. Basically, you taking the knowledge from your head, putting it down on this virtual digital piece of paper of sorts and passing it on to someone else for a fee. The great thing about digital products is that you can create them one time and continue to sell them over and over and over again. It's similar to music, right? You create it once and people get to experience it over and over. Now, what types of digital products are there that you can create? Now, one of the most popular and probably my favorite to create is a ebook. You have ebooks, they can be created very easily inside of Canva, but ebooks are a really great way to pass along information if that's something that you're doing. Now, in addition to ebooks, you can also create workbooks, planners, checklists, templates, worksheets. Now, how do you decide what digital product is right for you to create? First, you got to decide on what the value is that you're trying to deliver. What are you trying to teach people how to do? That's the biggest thing because you can't sell this digital product without first defining your value and sharing that value with your audience. Because if you don't do that, no one is going to want to buy your digital product. Prove that you're valuable, that the information within your product is going to be worth someone paying for. And if you don't have an audience yet, you're going to have to do a little bit more research. What are the people in your market looking for? What is a popular item right now that maybe a competitor is selling? What is something that you see people continue to talk about or ask for. It's just going to take you doing a little bit more research so that you know what product is going to be hot when you create it. Now, how do you actually create the product? This can be done in a variety of ways. Choose the option that's going to be easiest for you to do. Personally, I think if it's an info product, one of the easiest things to do is just, just type it up in Google Docs and ship it off to the people. Don't make it complex or hard at all. It doesn't have to be. As long as you type it up and it looks good, maybe you create a cover sheet for it and then go ahead, package it together and make it look good. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Now, if you want to do a little bit more, Canva is also just as easy to create things in and there's way more options when it comes to Canva. I'm actually going to walk you through um, the process right now that I took to create my quarterly goals action plan worksheet so that you can see how easy it is to do something in Canva. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can work on your skills of designing things, but if you're creating simple stuff like planners and worksheets and everything like that, Canva hands down, it's super simple and you will find that what you get from it is a lot more professional looking than what it probably would be inside of um, Google Docs. Now let's jump into my worksheet design in Canva really quick. So I just go ahead and create a letter size document. And the first thing I do is add some lines to the background and lock that down. And that's just to help me with spacing so that things look right and they're spaced out appropriately. Um, you can choose small lines, big lines, whatever you choose. And then you'll see me just start adding squares here. Basically, I'm just going to be using squares and lines to create this document. It's pretty simple because it's just going to be for me 
um, something very basic. If this were an actual digital product that I was going to sell, I would take a lot more time to do it. This took me 20 minutes tops to do. So it's a very simple process. You can change the colors, the sizes, spacing, whatever you want to change and however you want it, you can do exactly that. But again, I'm just doing this for the sake of um, some goal tracking that I'm doing. I'm not selling this, but this could be turned into to an entire business kit of some sort if you wanted. Now that you have your digital product all downloaded and ready to go, you need to get it to your customer. Now, there's several ways to do this, but just choose the option that's going to be easiest for you. Your business may look different than mine and vice versa, but choose the option that's gonna be easiest for you. Now, the first way you can do this is with a program called Send Owl. That's the program that I personally chose um, to deliver my blogging ebook that I have is through Send Owl. When I first created it, I use Send Owl. You simply upload your digital product to Send Owl and they do everything else. Once your customer comes to your landing page that you'll have, they pay for the product and it's automatically delivered to them. So Send Owl is an option. The second one is Shopify. Shopify actually has the ability to send out digital products. I don't think it was always like that, but now they are. I know a lot of people that have their product digital product stores on Shopify and they swear by it. So Shopify is another option. And then Gumroad is a pretty popular one as well. I have a lot of blogger friends that use Gumroad. Same thing, upload the digital product and then they send it out to your customer for you. And for those of you that haven't built an audience yet, but you're wanting to, you know, launch a digital product, you want to be looking at a marketplace like Etsy. Etsy has an audience already built in. The only thing you have to do is figure out how to leverage that audience and get them over to your product. So people often say, well, I can't do this because I don't have an audience. Uh, no, that's not necessarily true. And speaking of selling them, in order to get your digital products moving, if you have an audience, you want to make sure that you're mentioning your products regularly, that people know that you have a product for sale. This is something that I didn't do for a very long time and I don't even know why. I never told people what I had for sale. And I was like, how are people gonna buy it, honey, if you're not telling them? So you have to mention your products and let people know what you have to sell. That means when you're creating content, create content around your product. Make sure you do a call to action that tells them, listen, I have a product, go and buy it. So you have to be vocal about your stuff if you want people to buy it. If you don't have that audience yet, you could actually run ads to your product if you wanted to do that or run ads to a free product first that will lead them into a funnel to purchase that product, but that's a little bit more advanced technique. But when you're wanting to sell your digital products, you just gotta let people know that they're available. All of the marketing tactics that you use online for your blog or your business, you want to be using that to get this digital product into the hands of your customers. 
customers. So yeah, that's my beginner breakdown on how to create and sell a digital product online. If you're interested in seeing more about how to create an ebook, make sure you check out this video right here. I go really in depth on how to actually create the ebook and sell it for a major profit.